Use this leader to focus the picture and adjust the sound volume. The film will then be ready for correct projection. What do we mean by the word friendship? I remember reading somewhere that Ralph Waldo Emerson said, the only way to have a friend is to be one. Well, maybe we all have our own meaning, but what about making friends? And just as important, keeping them. What is friendship? Well, for one thing, friendship is sharing. Sharing activities, interests, or even different opinions. Here, let me show you. It's kind of tricky. Friends offer something to each other. Hey, I guess it's all in knowing how. Friendship is sharing. Friendship is sharing. A friendship is people together. Real friendship helps us grow as a person because it's based on trust and respect for each other. How are you doing? Well, I wrote this composition. Do you think you could give me your honest opinion on it? I was glad to help Trish. She sure helped me with my composition. But I have a feeling this isn't quite right here. You know, you should switch these two around. Trust and respect, respect and trust, a friend. Friendship must have respect and trust. Where to meet new people is easy. Interesting people are everywhere. But how do you make friends? It might mean that you have to make the first move. You can't always expect the other person to. Some people are shy or not very outgoing. By introducing yourself, you might open up a whole new world that didn't exist before. That's how I met Brenda. Hi, you look puzzled. What's the subject? Algebra 2. I'm having trouble with logarithms. Oh, they can be tough. I had that class last semester. Let's see if I can help you. Gee, thanks. That'd be great. In getting to know people, be understanding of the way they might be different from you, just as we'd expect others to be understanding of us. Jean and I are really good friends, but we have different ideas on a lot of things. You know, Brenda, I think it'd look better if it was a little longer. Could be, but I think I like it the way it is, since it is a summer dress. Well, I'm not sure I agree, but that's how we'll do it. Friends share their secrets, fears, doubts, hopes, because they know a friend will respect their thoughts or offer sincere advice. Well, Trish, all you have to do is ask her if she really said it. Yeah, I guess the simplest way's the best. Sure, Trish. Then you'll get it straightened out. I think I'll talk to her. Sure. Sharing our secrets, our hopes and doubts. A friend can offer a different point of view or new information on something that we might not see on our own. Friends help us to learn. Since we're working on your bike, we might as well have a chain. It'll ride quieter and it'll keep it from rusting. That's a good idea. I never thought of that. I should really do it more often. Here, let me show you the way I do it. Great. 
Many people limit their friendships without realizing it. They miss many possibilities with excuses like, she's too old or he's not my type. It's true that not everyone can be a best friend, but those kinds of excuses close off chances for new friendships. You don't know unless you try, and you may be surprised at the friends you'll make and the things you'll learn. Here's a camera I used to use. Wow. I would like you to see some of the pictures I took with Oh, great. Boy, these are nice. Aren't they lovely, Jerry? See how clear they are. Those are nice. Aren't they beautiful? Yeah. That little boy he won't be forgotten, I guess. <laughs> well, he's getting older. He's getting older. Just look at there. <laughs> Isn't that comical? Yes. That's your son picture. And here's where I used to go to school. A friendship works both ways. One person doesn't rule over the other. They respect each other's rights. Brenda! Since you're going that way, I was wondering if you could drop this off at the library deposit for me. It's due today, and it looks like I won't be able to make it. Gee, I'd really like to, Jean, but I have to catch the bus downtown. It'd be out of my way enough that I might miss the bus. No problem. I should have done it yesterday. I'll see you later, then. Bye, Jean. Bye-bye. A friendship is equal, one to another. A friendship does not obligate one another. Keeping friends is something that has to be worked at. For instance, I keep in touch with friends who have moved away, even if it's just a note to say hi. It doesn't take much to keep in touch between friends. <coughs> friends show their concern and support for each other. Just being nearby can be enough. As when Jeff was sick one time. Hi, Jeff. How you doing? Don. Hello. I think I'll live. Here, I brought you a magazine. Thanks. Listen, you better get well soon. We got a big football game coming up. Concern and caring. Concern and caring. Friends grow together by mutually sharing. Jean and I respect each other's privacy. Would it be okay if you didn't come over tonight? I have some things to do that really can't wait. Sure. Call me tomorrow. We can get together then. Great. I'll see you for lunch. Friends are able to let each other go if the time comes. People change over the years, and sometimes you may no longer have the same interests. Shelly and I were able to admit this. It's better to remember the good friendship we had in the past instead of trying to force it to still be in the present. People change and needs change. Friends give thoughtful help when it's needed. Just because Brenda didn't ask for it didn't mean that she couldn't use it. Say, Brenda, a bunch of us are going to the park. I stopped by to see if you'd like to come along. I'd love to, Jean but I told my mom I'd have the kitchen clean before she got home. Oh. Well, I'll help, and then we can both go. That'd be great. Thanks, Jean. Why don't you grab a towel? All right. Friends are truthful, but polite with each other. 
they can be open and honest and know that the other person will understand. You know, you were kind of rude to Bob the other day, Don. He was a little upset. How do you mean? Well, the argument you had at the meeting. He had a point to make and you weren't listening. Yeah, I guess I did get pretty loud. Maybe you should call him up. He thinks you're mad at him. Yeah, I think I will. Thanks. A good friend is patient and sensitive. When Trisha's father was in the hospital a few months ago, she was pretty upset. Sometimes I just feel like I don't care about my classes or anything. You know, it's hard to take. Sure it is. I know how you feel, Trish. Yeah. I guess you know how it is. I remember when your mom got in that car accident. Sure. Things work out. Come on. Let's go have lunch. Come on. I think it was the English poet Samuel Johnson who wrote, to let a friendship die away by negligence and silence is certainly not wise. Friendship isn't something to take for granted. It's an active process, a growth between other people and ourselves. It requires effort on our part to make friends, to keep friends, and above all, to be a friend. <laughs>